Hey, I'm Joran from Chenomize, and today we're going to talk about the changing Facebook Messenger policies. So what is changing, why is it changing, and how can you comply with these new policies of Facebook Messenger? But first, hit the like and hit the subscribe button because it would really help me out. So why is Facebook changing their Facebook Messenger policy? The reason why they change it is they want to improve the user experience for Facebook Messenger. In 2016, Facebook started with chatbots and from that moment, they really did not change anything to their policy. But now they do. So what is really changing? Well, before the changes of the policy, you, when a user interacts with your chatbot, you could send any promotional message whatsoever after it. So, for example, someone asks, asks a question to your chatbot and you can send a blog post after it, or you can send an event, or you can send a YouTube video, you can send any promotional content whatsoever. But Facebook is changing this. Facebook introduced the 24-hour window and message tags. So what is the 24-hour window? When a user interacts with your chatbot, you have got 24 hours in which you can send any promotional message whatsoever. There are absolutely no constraints. So for example, someone says hey to your chatbot and within 24 hours, you can send maybe a blog post that you posted or a YouTube video. But outside the 24 hour window, you can only send a message that contains one of the four tags. And I will talk about the tags a little more, the details of the tags, but uh, what for now it is only if you send you can only send a message that contains one of the four tags outside the 24 hour window or otherwise it will not be delivered to the user or you need to pay for it so you got a 24 hour window in which you can send any promotional message whatsoever to the user but outside the 24 hour window you can only send a message that contains one of the four tags or you need to pay for it and paying for that message is what Facebook calls sponsored messages. So what about the tags? Well, there are four kinds of tags. The first tag is the confirmed event update. The confirmed event update are reminders or updates for an event the user have registered for. So for example, uh, it's uh, they have re registered for an event and there's a new speaker uh, on the event, then you can send them a message about uh, uh, about the change in uh, who is speaking on, on the event. And it's about upcoming events and also about events in progress. The second tag is the post purchase update. It notifies the user of an update on a recent purchase. For example, you made a purchase on a web shop and you get a confirmation in Facebook Messenger or you get a change in shipment status. So things like that. The third tag is the account update. The account update notifies the user of a non-recurring change to their to the to their application or account. And um, this is maybe a, a, a tag that you could use. Maybe someone has changed their password. Oh, then you can use the account update tag. The last tag is the human agent, and the human agent allow human agents to respond to user inquiries and this is currently in beta version so we can't use it right now and we can't test it out so now you got to know what the four tags are how do we comply with this new policy well complying with this policy is not that hard i made a uh, i made a cheat sheet a free cheat sheet which you can download from my website and i will talk about it now but you can download it from my website and it is really simple you need to go through every flow and need to go through every message. And you need to think about every message and you must ask yourself, can I tag this message? Can I tag this message with one of the four tags? If the answer is yes, then you're done with a message, go on with the, with the next message. If the answer is no, then you need to ask yourself, can I transform it so that it fits within the 24 hour window? If the answer is yes, then just transform it and fit it within the 24 hour window. But if the answer is no, then you need to ask yourself, okay, is this worth paying for? Do I have the money? And is it worth it to pay for this message? If it's worth paying for, then just run ads. Just run a sponsored message and you're done. But if it, doesn't, if it isn't worth paying for, then you need to get the email or the phone number of the user. Because, and then you need to go omni-channel. And what I mean with omni-channel is send messages out 
Facebook Messenger. So don't use Facebook Messenger, but use email marketing, use SMS marketing, use Telegram, use WhatsApp to send the message out to the user. So that's my really simple cheat sheet and how you can comply with these new regulations. There are also, there's also a, a, another change coming which Facebook announced. Facebook announced the one-time notification API. And the one-time notification API is an API that allows you to send one message outside the 24-hour window. But Facebook will introduce this in February and it is still really vague what it precisely is. I made a blog post about it. Uh, you can already read it on my blog. I will post the link in the description but it is still really vague. So when this API is really coming out in February, I will make another video of it and I will make another cheat sheet how you can comply with these new changes. So thank you for watching or thank you for listening and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Until next time.